Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today I'm in the Kuma, the tier 4 Japanese cruiser. I am on the map Solomon Islands in the Domination Game Mode and it is a tier 4 battle. Although for some reason my team has two more tier 4s than the enemy. But I guess I shouldn't complain about that. Now, the Kuma is armed with torpedoes. The torpedoes have a 6 km range. You also have one catapult fighter and you get the hydroacoustic surge, which is pretty much a sonar, which helps detect ships inside smoke and it also helps you detect torpedoes. Now this map I've decided to go for the point A. I am platooned with another cruiser and he is coming to help out over here. There is a destroyer, friendly one, who is hopefully spotting something from me. And I'm taking a few shots here in the middle. This point is already contested. We have two cruisers going for it. I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea. I usually wouldn't go for B unless I'm in a destroyer. At least not early on. And when you're on the topping of destroyers, I have spotted one in front of me. I have used my Sona in order to spot the torpedoes. I'm launching torpedoes myself. Probably not very well aimed, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm relying on mostly on my guns to kill him. And once again we see that cruisers can just devastate destroyers in a very short amount of time. Now he's launched a lot of torpedoes, but he is a Russian destroyer. And as you can see, these torpedoes don't have a lot of range. So no worries there. Now there are there were torpedo bombers flying pretty close to me. But they were on their way home. Now I don't know why our destroyer just left the cap circle. He was doing a great job capturing and it doesn't look like he was detected by anything. But be that as it may, now I'll just have to go in there and take this point. It's not like I'm having anything better to do right now. Now there is a battleship and a destroyer inside B. I wouldn't go there in a battleship. Well, unless it's very late in the game and I'm pretty certain that I'm not getting cornered by anything with torpedoes. As usual, you never want to be in a slow, slow turning ship in a confined space when there might be torpedoes launched your way because you just have absolutely no way of turning your ship around in there. Also, due to the islands, they can just sneak up on you, come around a corner and you only see them when they are already like three kilometers in front of you and then you just die. Now, not entirely sure this battle is progressing, but I, yeah, here you see already torpedoes launched at this battleship. There are also, like, there are torpedo planes here, there are there is a destroyer from us. Cruisers, the Phoenix should have torpedoes. So yeah, he's pretty much dead here. Which is not really that surprising. Now the enemy has taken two points. We only have one. But we are leading on kills. Now, we, we aren't doing very well in the north. These guys are outnumbered. But 
we have A and it's uncontested. And with these reinforcements coming for B, we should take B without any problems. And after that we could just move towards C. Hope these guys are... I hope they can retreat, if not at least they are buying us time. And this poor weakest there has run himself into ground and he's dead. I mean, even with a fast turning ship, if, if you are in that close to islands, you sometimes just don't pay enough attention or you get forced to drive towards an island because you have to avoid something. Now I'm getting pretty close to this Karlsruhe. The Karlsruhe has torpedoes, so I should be aware of that. Well, I have torpedoes too, I could launch them, but, well, there is a friendly battleship and I don't think I need them. As you can see, he is dying pretty fast. Now I avoided those torpedoes without any problem. And now we can just capture B in peace. Now we have a small lead. And with us taking B, we even have a larger lead. Now they have two carriers and five other ships. We can see all those five ships that means the only unknown are the two carriers and probably the carriers are sitting somewhere up in the north i mean if these carriers are smart they moved towards their team and they are somewhere at the point c hiding behind allies but especially in low tiers you usually should expect carriers to sit at their spawn and wait to die now I've come around here because they are, well we know all of their ships are up there. So either I engage those ships or I go hunting for the carriers. And I find that it's probably a better idea if I engage those ships, protect my carriers and my teammate is going for the carriers. He is in a better position to do so. And that should be enough. Now I'm getting shot by a lot of guys. And I... Well, I did expose my broadside to a few of them. And that I'm still alive is mostly due to luck. Now I would have hoped or expected to get some support from my team when I first went this route. But so far it's not looking great. I mean these ships they can still come around here. As I said, besides those two carriers we know all of the enemies are here. We have one cruiser going for the carriers which should be enough. Unless they really can corner him with the torpedoes. He should take out those carriers. So all that's left to do might be this battleship could go capture C and these guys they could just come around here and help me defend our carriers. Unfortunately for whatever reason they decide not to. Now we can only see two enemies but we still know that all four of them are somewhere around here. Which makes me vastly outnumbered. But I also know that people just love shooting at carriers. And since those carriers are spotted, well, they at least provide a meat shield for me. Let's put it like that. Now, I am the biggest threat to those approaching ships. Sure, these carriers, the torpedo bombers, they are scary. But. Sticking together, they should be able to defend very well against the planes. Not to mention that if you pay attention, you can 
somewhat effectively dodge low tier top, uh, torpedo bombers. In higher tiers, the torpedo bombers are just a lot faster and they can circle you and attack you from the sides, but on low tiers, you can often just turn into the torpedo bombers and force them to attack you from the front. As I said, if those guys stick together, which they are more or less doing, they should be able to shoot down some of the planes. So they really should worry about me. Especially since... Yeah, I've just taken heavy damage. It's, it's not like I'm that hard to hit. And I'm... Well, I will kill this car so soon. Which probably should have never happened in the first place if they just all shot me. I'd be dead by now. Now next I'm going for the Kohlberg. I can kill those cruisers a lot faster than I could kill the battleships. Our victory is in sight. So, first order of business is killing your cruisers. Also, the carriers have a lot easier time killing the battleships. And I'm hoping those carriers are supporting me. Now, one carrier has more or less escaped so far, the other carrier he is just, I don't know, waiting to die. But, as I said before, at least he is providing me with a distraction. I could have never done this much damage to the enemies if it weren't for the carriers taking the hits. Now when we look up in the north, they still haven't captured sea. So all of those ships have spent all of their time going after two carriers. I mean, they managed to sink them. But as I said before, the cruiser who was ahead of the others could have just done that on his own. And there was really no reason for three other people to follow up there. Especially since they, they were close to me. They just could have helped. And, oh my god, I'm driving against the zone wall. I didn't pay attention where I was moving. I was concentrating on killing that cruiser. While I managed to do so, I got myself in a bad spot. I should be dead, but they are shooting high explosive. Another reason why I'm still alive. And... Now, I haven't had much luck with torpedoes so far. Maybe I can still launch them at the other battleship. I probably can kill this battleship. He is burning. So even if I die now, maybe. And uh, again, they are shooting high explosive. While they've done module damage and set me on fire in two places, I would have been already dead otherwise. Now I've launched some torpedoes that probably never going to hit, but it was a last act of desperation. I've got my confederate. I've also got some hits and only this battleship survives. We have nearly won by now. They have captured C and I think I've done a good job in at least defending one carrier. So this battle was a win and I hope you enjoyed watching it.